Once if everything is stabilized, patient is on a ventilator, extubated, patient is in stable, if without oxygen, with oxygen, we have to patient is in a SPO, oxygen levels is normal, patient conscious is okay, you are shifting to the ward. That is the most important patient is in a ventilator, we have to take care of the pressure source also. Sometimes patient is, patient is not moving, patient is unconscious, patient will never move. That we have to positions we have to change for the patient every second hourly. That is the most important. Otherwise, bed sore will come. That is the nursing care is the most important for nurses. We have to for second hourly we have to change the position. That is the most important for the critical areas. And feed, especially for nutrition, patient is an NPO and patient is not taking any orally or that patient is unconscious, we have to give for the uh, rise to feed. That is especially for the nutrition most required for the patients. That's why Protonex, otherwise nutrition, especially for the ensure you have to give for the according to the body weight, we are calculating and we are giving to the patient. First feed you have to start with the early morning, 6 o'clock. Every second hour you have to give for the feed and following that getting or not, we have to check it that and dietary following, you have to do it for the dietary. We have in-house dietary is there. We have to follow that and 10 feeds you are giving for the every day. Every second. Last feed will be in 10 o'clock. That we have to move for each feed, you have to go for two protein, we have to give for two feeds and remaining seven, eight feeds will be in the uh, ensure. Middle of that patient is dietary food will come. According to that, we have to give for this. Especially for nutrition, we have to take care of the patient, critical areas. Once the patient is everything is stabilized, we are shifting to the IC ward. We have three categories wards will be there. One is for the general ward and semi-private and private. We are not different cares, even we never differentiation will do. Same patient, same. Uh, care is same, okay, category is difference. According to their patient attenders or bystanders is asking about that, we are going giving to the cha, cha, this one only bed. But care is same for general ward and semi-private and private. We have a three categories and that is general ward, three beds will be in the each room and the two sharing room will be there and private room with single room. Especially for this all neuro patients and rehab patients, that is the most important you have to take care of the patient for the airway entry. That is patient is patient is some long term patients will be there in the hemiplegia. Sometimes moving movements will be not there in the right side or left side. We have to patient is unconscious. The airway airway entry you have to compulsory we have to see that patient. Patient is conscious not. We have to check it. GCS you have to check it. Patient in tracheostomy patient especially for the tracheostomy secretions are there or not we have to check it properly. If a secretion thick secretions we have to take care of the airway entry first especially for the tracheostomy two patient. If we clear everything, the patient is in oxygen, we have to check it about the oxygen level. Patient, tracheostomy, you are connected to the oxygen, no? we have to check the oxygen level. If we, you have to connect the continu continuous monitoring, that is the most important. That And feeding, again, especially for the two types of feeding will be there. One, the rice to feeding will be there and fake insertions will be there. Two, we can give the feeds for that. If you rise to, example, rise to feeds, patient, rise to be inserted, no? the position, the to be in position or not, we have to check it properly. If you before giving the feeds, we have to aspirate the uh, rice to. If you pay anything is there, collections is there. If you aspiration anything is coming, we have to, you can't give the rice to feed. That is the most important. If anything is not coming from the aspiration, we have to start with the second hourly feed according to the doctor's advice. But sometimes patient fluid restrictions will be there. We have to see the case sheet and doctor's advice medication chart. How much you have to give for the fluids? Excluding for the IV fluids, for the fed, uh, rise to fits and all things. We together sometimes fluid restrictions will be there in the patient side. Some other diseases, cardiac diseases sometimes, cardiac uh, diseases we can't give more fluids. That is the most important. We have to take care of the rise to position or not. Patient, patient to be in position, we have to give the feeds, nutrition part. And the airway part I told, tracheostomy. You have to take care of properly. That is the most important. And to be in position or not, we have to check it, Ambu, we have to do it and position is there, we can't do any, no issues. And for especially for the positioning change, second hour we have to change the position, avoid the bed sore purpose. Second hour we have to do. If a patient is in a bed source, that is a lackiness from nursing side, that is we have to do, take care of the my bed source also. Position changing, uh, dressing and which degree of the bed sore is there, we have to check it that properly. We have to snap, say, have to take over every time, patient is in, we have to do it. Will most probably our hospital is 99.9 percent .9 bed source your patient is not there in the hospital. That is a week 100 percent I can give guarantee that we are doing our taking care of the patient for the position changing and all things. That is the most important nutrition part I told the airway tracking and catheters. Especially patients sometimes be unconscious patient movements is not there. We have to do for the catheterization. So urine output I have to check it up proper to the tube is position or not. 
you sometimes tube will be blocked we have to give for the bladder wash and all things that you have to check it about the urine output most important yeah, every patient intake and output chart is mandatory for the patient every patient we have to para if a patient is not passed urine patient is unconscious patient tube is in position not or we have to check it that if you not passed somewhere in the somewhere is the lacunas is there we have to check properly tube is blocked somewhere will be there we have to recatheterization we have to do it and bladder every 20 uh, silicon catheters we have to usually for the, the better than patient we have to uh, silicon catheter inserting 28 days we have to change it. that is the most important for uh, that you have to do it rise tube 28 days we have to change it okay that is the most important and tracheostomy you are weekly twice you are changing for the tracheostomy tube okay alternate we have to alternate three days once you are changing this for the avoiding for the blockages that is the most important nutrition part i told especially for the nursing how we are giving the training for the all the patient for the before entering to the hospital my department especially for my sixth floor for neurosurgery department and neurology and neurosurgery departments are there and rehab patients will be there before sending to the patient we have some protocols we made sops will tell standard for operating protocols that according to that we have to give the guidelines to them first we have to teach the staffs before going to the bedside these are all the protocols we have to follow the minor patients especially for the doctors rounds before doing the any procedures and for the seniors what you have to give the guidelines to them you have to follow that all things we have the sops we have made every procedure we have made about sops according to that we have to do with the protocols that is a mandatory for the, all the staffs junior sisters comes or senior sisters comes we have once you come to the new staffs from the our organization for the, especially for sixth floor we have to, they have to follow up on our protocols that is the most important